How the hell do you expect to get any work done sitting in your truck all day? Just waiting for it to dry out. Heading to Hamels to pick up some sickle sections. Still on beans? 30 acres left. Uh, you know, I just gotta keep the old girl running. Uh, we should be done with corn by the end of the week, so let me know if you need anything. Thanks, Jerry. I'll, uh, I'll let you know. Take care. All right. Good for you today, Jess. Box of sickle sections. Still on beans, huh? Still on beans. Yeah, sad to see another one go under. I had no idea they were struggling. Yeah, folks are kind of private about those things. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, put it on the account? Yeah, that'd be perfect. Truck's stuck. What can I do? I better ride home. That I can do. Okay. What you got left? It's 30 acres. What kind of yield you get? Monitor stopped working last week. Uh, yeah, sometimes I wonder we wouldn't be better off without all this technology anyways. So what's corporate guy you up to today? Just making the harvest lunch rounds. I was hoping that's what brought you out here. I'm starving. Hey, there's some uh, pop and water in the cooler. Help yourself. Where's the silver bullets? <laughs> you know, the day my boss lets me bring beer to you guys, trust me, you'll be my first stop. I remember when we were kids, mom would always deliver us these hot meals. And those little plastic plates with those little dividers in them. Well, my favorite part was the salted nut roll. Planting and harvest were the only times a year we were allowed to have things like that. <laughs> you know, every time I see those in the store, I think of your old man. Remember when I used to come out here bringing these meals. Climb up in the cab, do a few rounds. Before I left, he'd always reach down in that compartment underneath the buddy seat and grab me one from his stash. You know, he was the only farmer who ever gave me anything when I came to visit. I'll never forget that. Well, that's where he always kept us. <laughs> what a sneaky little <laughs> bastard. <laughs> he was a good one. I mean, even in the bad years, he'd figure out a way to make it work. Probably, thanks to all the free child labor he got from us kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, you know what I remember? We must have been about like 12 or 13. Your dad wouldn't let you go to the football game till you straighten out that, that whole coffee oh. can full of bed nails. <laughs> you were so pissed. 
<laughs> I rode my bike out here just to help you. And you smashed your thumb so oh, bad we had to take God. you to the ER and get stitches. I forgot all about that. <laughs> you poured some of your dad's Canadian, Canadian whiskey. whiskey. <laughs> Fuck! That hurts! <laughs> You're such a cheap ass. <laughs> Yeah, I remember thinking that back then. But, you know, I think it was that kind of mentality. Kept him in the green. Everybody else was in the red. Yeah, probably right. I know this is what he always dreamed you'd be doing. I just don't think he could have imagined times would be this tough. I hate to bring this up, Jesse, but my hands are tied on this one. I mean, I, I managed to convince them to give you an extra 30 days. Get some of this crop sold, but that's the best I can do. And I wish there Marty. was some... Marty, I know. You've done enough. It'll be all right. I'll get the, I'll get the loan paid. I got a good feeling about this corn crop. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Great. Okay then. Well, better get going. Those the teals will be eating cold burgers. <laughs> Take care, Jesse. Hey, right, thanks again. Oh, hey, Jesse. I don't want to forget that. Look, if you ever want to talk or... Hey, I, uh... I appreciate that. Lucky! Come on, boy! Lucky! Come on, let's go! Come on, Lucky! 
Ricky! Come on! There you are. Hi, right, babe. I'm just winding down for the night. <clears throat> How are the kids? Sick of lake life yet? Can I talk to them? Yeah, I miss you too. You know I can't be there. We already talked about this. Mitch, why would you do that? No, you don't, you don't ever hit your sister. You two are family, you gotta take care of each other. And your mom, okay, you gotta go easy on her. And you know, you know <clears throat> someday I might not be there. So I need you guys to stick together. Okay, you hear me? Okay. I love you both very much. <clears throat> okay, babe. All right, yeah, I'll see you soon. I love you too, Brianna.
lucky. 